When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. Dear friend, I just turned 26. Like an old favorite sweater, more like when everyone told me should be my favorite but wasn't. I outgrew my early 20s and who I was at that time. For 14 years, I was a student. That's three-fifths of my life so far. When, in 2019, came the time to stop being one, it was hard. You see, I was so used to being told what to do, to being told if I was doing it right or wrong, to being judged based on my work and achievements, at that time, the equation was simple. You study well, you get good grades. When I graduated and joined what is often called the real world, there was no one to tell me what to do or how to do it, no one to judge my work. And so, wrongfully, I started doing it myself. I became both student and teacher not realizing that I wasn't meant to be either. It's funny for me to say this because at the moment teaching is my job and I do have plans to go back to studying, but in this context I'm talking about life, not a classroom situation. I wasn't meant to be judging my experiences and what I was learning. I wasn't meant to be looking for failure, but that's what I did. So, in the past five years, I went through two main phases. The first, in which I kept looking for someone else to acknowledge my worth. This translated into me looking for jobs with a very damaged and damaging mindset. I got rejected many times and each rejection was someone telling me you're not good enough, you don't belong here, you're not needed here, you're wrong for this, you're wrong for that. I really took each rejection as a judgment of my words and my confidence was quickly crushed. I was crushed. Which leads me to the second phase in which I stopped seeking approval from others but because I couldn't even satisfy myself in the first place. I kept working really hard to do things and then took a look at what I've done and just hated it proceeded to destroy my progress and start over again and again and again. Each time I started over in a new country, I felt like I was back at stake one, like I hadn't grown at all, like I was sabotaging myself because the results of years of hard work were suddenly no longer tangible. If you asked me what accomplishment I am most proud of, I didn't think I'd accomplished anything. My college degree hadn't gotten me a job. My driver's license required an actual car to be used on. I had a salary, but not a career. Following my dreams was affecting my stability. At life, I was a sad F. There's a quote by Stephen Maraboli that says We shrink ourselves to fit into places we've outgrown. Then, we find ways to anesthetize the pain and discomfort.
I now realize that's exactly what happened to me. I felt like there was no place for me in this world. There was nowhere I could thrive, nowhere I was needed. I felt like I no longer knew what I wanted or who I was. But I did. Deep down I did. I was just resisting growing into it. Because it was the unknown. And a lot of responsibility. And likely irresponsible at the same time. And it might not work out. I'm tired of resisting. It might not work out, but I want to follow the thought, what if it does? At the moment, I'm working on my attitude towards life. I've been trying to let go of the student mindset, of the crippling perfectionism. Of course, this isn't the only thing that I've been dealing with in my early 20s, but it's a part that I can control, something that I can actually change through my actions. So, in order to focus more on growing into the person I want to be, I've been asking myself questions like What makes me happy as an adult? As an adult, the things that make me the happiest are often the little things. Because I know more of the world than I did when I was younger, I no longer yearn for big trips and exotic paradises. Of course, those are wonderful from time to time, but what I'm most interested in is making daily life as pleasing as possible. Focusing on the little moments and adding more of the things I love into my days. These are things like waking up early and sitting in my balcony drinking some tea, looking out at the mountain, things like being extra with breakfast, writing morning pages before getting to work, going for a walk after work, noticing the sky changing, enjoying the evening air, spending time with my husband, having time dedicated to our relationship, reading before bed, on weekends, spending time in nature. Other questions I've been asking myself are Am I living true to my heart? What does success mean to me? What am I doing about the things that matter to me? And how will I live knowing I will die? Questions like these have been guiding me in the direction of the changes I want to make. So, what you're watching right now is me finally titling this new chapter. I have a few options so far, in which Sarah believes in herself and her ability to do good things in which Sarah chooses to be brave and finds her place in the world, or even in which Sarah grows into her fairest self and shares wonder with the world. I guess what I'm saying is that outgrowing ourselves as adults is scary, but if you think about it, not doing so is even scarier. Change is scary, but stagnation is worse. In our 20s, we're coming from such a specific stage in our lives of studying and studying and studying into another very specific stage of entering the real world, entering the workforce, you know, learning how to deal with a bunch of things we've never had to deal with before. And because of that, staying the same is not only impossible, but it's very detrimental. Besides, throughout our lives, I don't think we ever stop changing, so maybe we should just stop fearing change itself. 
it's part of everything in nature and we are natural beings so why shouldn't we change and why can't that be a good thing something to embrace so this is me as an adult i create what i love and what is true to my heart that's what life is about but more importantly that's what i'm about if you're feeling lost in life no matter what stage you're in, maybe something new is waiting for you. I hope this inspires you to allow yourself to grow into it.